What is up, guys? We're back with another episode of Assassin's Creed. We just got to talk to Roshan, and let's get into it. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin, and we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Sounds easy Focus enough. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Let's get some information. Silence is better for the wives. And how much more so for fools. Haban Muvaptaman. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen. Merchants extorted. Foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now. Your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin. One up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire. And draw you from the shadows. Let's do it. Sounds easy enough. Bethel! Liar! Should have known you would be here, Cog. Ha! You know me. Do you have any information about the treasure? Someone who works for the Khilafa. The treasure? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information uh, for free. What job do you need doing now? See. <laughs> Already know <laughs> what is on my oh, mind, man, eh? Bro. You see, little Finch, the Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should of be course, able to find course, it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. Talk to this person right here, too. Ahlan, Ahlan, come upstairs and look at my words, ya Sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi. I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups, but the hairpin is my prize. Uh. Oh, you have a the hairpin, I see. A beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the east? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. Don't mind me. Tardiness is not something the treasurer appreciates. Not something we can rush, yes, say that. The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. That's not Come. Cool. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. Eh, uh, not me, that you know. Mention the treasurer. I should keep my ears closed. The treasurer is fond of the Kinar, as you know. No one is more unhappy than three dozen bottles going missing. 
Mr. Harbour is holding out the flag. Reduction has been glorious, I doubt it. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The... Just, you know, sitting, chilling, relaxing. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Khalifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume on the tax collector's letters. I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. Well, it is not come right courteous out, to then. eavesdrop. Yeah. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But because of that, her neck is all scratched up. It's difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they Ooh, look. Ooh, got him. Indeed. <laughs> Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. Wow. Told her I your real name. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, ya Sayyidati. I would have gave a fake name. My name is John Smith. So, the treasurer is a she. And her name is Ning. Which will help us identify her when she's not in the mask. Well, let's go steal the items from from Luka. This must be the Stall Kong Mansion. Now to find that plate. I'm supposed to blow this up. Oh, oh. Okay. Bro, what am I hitting it on? Don't tell it to redo all that again. I'm just gonna do this nice and simple real quick. I'm not, I'm that, that did not scare me. I'm not gonna say it did. Oh, I see, I see. Ah, I see. Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Kong, I have your plate. Here. Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. <laughs> anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful robe for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the east. The auction should be starting soon. I'm ready. Oh, it's my time. Assalamu okay. alaikum. Yasas. Nihao. Hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning. To listen to your heart's desire and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al Mal. Can First, I buy other on stuff? On our exclusive, <laughs> captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. 
made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans. It will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? What, what price? Oh? <laughs> so, this piece goes to the lovely lady. How much? Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. Ah, this here we go. Here we go. This is what I want. This is what I want. Raise my hand. Raise my hand. The detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. You can get it for Nihal. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning, the treasurer. Ning, not two. Nina. Any others? Hmm. Kill him. <laughs> That's what she's like. Kill him. Uh, okay, wait. Ass in suspense. Boom, that's right. Me. We have a third there. Who? Who owns oh, it again? Oh, oh. Number three. What will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart. Listen to your desire. 500? Let's do it. Come on. What you got? How much money you got? How much money you got? No one? Then sold. To the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Sayyid. Now, right. for the third right. item. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. Only 500 coin, I'll take it. And we gotta gain an audience with the treasure. I have an appointment with the treasurer. Leave aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summoned. Excuse me, Gaur. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer. If she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. So I gotta go find a... This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello! Trouble with customers. No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I mean, you can. I do not know much, really. I'm fine with that. Eh, we'll Whatever you know can help me. A merchant well, token. it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. I knew that already. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. That's what How I do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the ivory coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. Is they think Kong their status remembered? gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Kach. Thank you. Hello, spices for you? Maybe I just steal it from the one guy. <laughs> no brooch, oh. no entry. You know how this works. Yes. I left my brooch in there. There we go. I don't know why I didn't do it uh, last time. Don't make a mistake. We'll be fine. We got this. An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. I do not care what you have to do. Burn them or murder their dogs if you have to. Understood, sir. We will retrieve your coin from the merchant stall on the morrow at all costs. Why not today? Yeah. You lot are getting more incompetent by the day. Useless. Make his body and disappear. <laughs> this must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have no drink. Assalamu alaikum. You again. What is it now? I, I have, have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. 
You made it. Oh my. Is there a place I can hide the killer, or what if I go in here? I'm just gonna hide in here. Okay, I guess I guess I have to go. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. <laughs> a man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. How close we let me get, hmm? Is it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No, What's the point of it? But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I hmm. pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? Because As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. I guess we gotta do it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting her to come back and try to find me. Oh. A mirror image? Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone. That's so it. That's. I don't know, I thought I would really clear the whole mirror image.
Wait, unbar this! I totally... I was hitting control instead of ult. I didn't think they were gonna be upstairs, so I thought I could hide. This is what I wanted. They're not gonna check in here, are they? Fall in! Can't escape us! Split up! What the fuck? Right. No, no, you didn't you didn't hear anything. We're already dead! You're dead! There you are! What? <laughs> Let's do it. She wasn't expecting that way. <laughs> Done. How did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. <laughs> the order will not stop here. As long as they're not in the order, they don't have to worry about me. Then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The genie? I did. It, uh, It is gone now. It is gone. Don't lie. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. We got one more bureau we gotta go to. 